Hello Angel Besties, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Rachel, how are we? Welcome to my August TBR. I am very excited for today's video. I absolutely love talking about my reading plans for the month ahead. Particularly, I have had a bit of a dud for a reading month in the month of July. It's not over yet, but I have not given a book five stars in the month of July. It has been since June. And I just feel like it's weird because I feel like I give out five star ratings like they're candy. But unfortunately, a lot of books that I have been picking up this month just have not been for me. So I'm very excited to talk about new books today, fresh start, and hopefully we come out of this month with some absolute favorites. So let's get straight into my August TBR. Okay, so I do have a couple of carryovers from July that I have not got to, and it is still July, but I don't think I'm going to get to them by then because I just have a really, really busy week. So I'm just gonna add these to my August TBR because they are two books that I do really want to read and I'm very excited for. So that is City of Ruin and The Crown of Oaths and Curses. I cannot get this title right to save my life. Oh my God. So I'm really excited to read both of these books. They are both fantasy romances. This is the second book in a series. This is the first book in a series. I've actually already started this, but yeah, I just don't think I'm gonna finish it before July is over. But I hope and pray to the fantasy romance gods that I will love both of these books. I'm really excited for them. I really liked the two prequel novellas for this series, and I really liked the first book in this series. So I have hope, right? We have we have good vibes here. So I'm gonna be reading these in August as well, and hopefully they go well. I also have a couple of rereads that I'm going to be doing in the month of August. So first up is the next book for my Throne of Glass reread, which is Queen of Shadows. This is my favorite book in the Throne of Glass series. We'll see if that sticks for my third time reading it. But when I did my first two reads, Queen of Shadows, was my absolute favorite. So I really, really love this book. I think that everything that is great about the Throne of Glass series is at its peak in this book. I think that everything is perfection, 10 out of 10. And I'm very, very excited to get back into this one in particular because I love it so much. Another reread that I am very, very excited to do is Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. So I am actually going to be co-hosting a Magnolia Parks universe read along. Sam from Sam Reads a Little and then Tori from Novel Life asked myself, Hannah and Lachlan, if we wanted to join, if we wanted to co-host. And it's gonna be really, really great to dive back into this. I have never reread this series. I love it so much. I've been thinking about doing a reread lately, so it came really at the perfect time. So if you do wanna join us, we are just going to be reading one book from the Magnolia Parks Universe series a month. So in August, we will be reading Magnolia Parks. In September, we will be reading Daisy Hates. So whether you've read it before and you wanna do a reread, or if this is your first time, we would love to have you join us. We are going to be doing live shows each month as well. Don't know when the live show for Magnolia Parks is yet, but make sure that you're following me on Instagram and I'll post about that when we know. I'm going to have all of the co-hosts linked down below, so make sure that you are subscribed to them and follow them on Instagram as well. But yeah, super excited to get back with Magnolia, BJ, the full box set, and re-experience the pain that this series brings. The next book on my August TBR is The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. So this is the first book in the Farseer trilogy, I believe it's called, and I am also going to be buddy reading this with Lachlan. We are very excited to get into this trilogy. I've heard amazing things about this author, about this series. I'm very excited. I believe it's a pretty character-driven story, which I absolutely love, and it follows our main character. Character fits and his time being an assassin's apprentice and all that he gets up to. So I think this is going to be a really, really fun book. I'm excited for it. I really hope I love it. I have a ton of hype for it and I think it's going to be a great one. The next book that I'll be reading in the month of August is Bound and Barbed. This is an adult fantasy romance. In this book, we are following our main character, Eveline, and she ends up in a really terrible situation where her aunt and uncle are trying to marry her off to someone she doesn't want to be married to. She ends up running off, escaping, and then ends up running into her fated mate. She finds out that her fated mate is actually an immortal who her whole life she has been told are very dangerous, very terrible, but the two of them kind of end up in this sort of reluctant allyship from the situation that they get into and it takes off from there. I think that this sounds really, really fun. I have heard really good things. I've had this recommended to me a few times, so I'm excited to pick this one up. The next book on my August TBR is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. I'm so excited to pick this book up. I have heard nothing but fantastic things about TJ Klune's writing. A lot of my friends really, really like this book and I'm very curious to see what I think. I think it is fantasy, maybe a little bit more more magical realism. But from what I know about this book, our main character is kind of like a caseworker for magical youth. And he goes to this house where all of these very interesting children are. And that's kind of all I know about it. But I think that's all I really want to know. I just heard really fantastic things. And that TJ Klune's books in particular are very emotional, are really touching and very feel good. So I'm super, super excited to pick this book up. And I hope that I love it as much as everyone else does. The next book that I'm going to be reading in the month of August, this is probably my most anticipated read of the month, probably like 
like my biggest hope for a five star and that is Heavenly Bodies by Imani Iru. This is a kind of like celestial fantasy romance and I've heard really good things. Hannah from Hannah's Recent Reads loved it, gave it five stars, said it's fantastic. I'm so hoping that I have the same experience with this book that she did. I've also had this book recommended to me a number of times. It does sound right up my alley. I'm really excited to read this. In this book, our main character receives a prophecy that she is going to fall for a star and it will kill them both. I think that sounds really cool, really intriguing. I love a kind of celestial aspect into any fantasy romance novel. So I feel like this one has a lot of potential and I'm really, really hoping that I give this five stars. The next book on my August TBR is The Stars Are Dying by Chloe C. Penuranda. Another book that I have very, very high hopes for. I've been seeing really, really raving reviews of this book. In particular, the thing that I'm drawn to about this book the most, I have seen people saying that this book has a true morally gray love interest. He isn't just our typical, oh, kind of assumed dark morally gray love interest, but he's just a brunette, essentially. That's about as dark and morally gray as he gets. He is truly a character that I think sticks with that moral grayness with his personality. So I'm really excited to see that. In this book, our main character, she has a mysterious past. She is trying to survive the kingdom she lives in, which is riddled with bloodthirsty vampires. And she also enters trials that are run by a tyrannical king. So I think that this book sounds really good. I'm very excited for it. I'll definitely be vlogging this one because I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of thoughts about it, regardless whether I like it or not, because it has a lot of aspects that really work for me in a book. So hopefully I love this one. All right, and the final book on my August TBR is Blood Solace by Bella Broth. This is the second book in the Blood Grace series, which is a bit of a vampiric fantasy romance. It is kind of like a friends to lovers fantasy romance, and it has a ton of political intrigue and amazing world building. This is the second book, so I can't talk too much about what's going to happen in this one, but I'm really, really looking forward to it. I also know that the audiobook comes out in August, so I'm probably going to listen to that. These books can be a little bit dense, and while I do really, really enjoy them, I think an audiobook is going to help me out. So I am very excited to continue on with this series. I really want to see where the story goes and I'm excited to get back with Cassia and Leo. All right, so those are all the books that I'm going to be reading in the month of August. I know that that was probably like a little bit of a shorter TBR, but truly I just wanted to like strip it down and keep my TBR simple. Just because I have had more disappointing reads lately, I really wanted to pick books that I was really, really excited about and not overload myself too much. So fingers crossed that I end up with a five star this month. Let me know down in the comments below, what are you reading in the month of August? Are you going to be joining us on our Magnolia Parks read along? And if you have read any of the books that I have listed here. Let me know what you think of them. If you made it to this point in the video and you wanted to let me know, go ahead and leave the little bumblebee emoji for Magnolia Parks. Please make sure that you're following me on Instagram and Goodreads. Both are always linked down below. I really appreciate that you watched this video. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. I love you all so, so much, and I will catch you guys in the next one.